Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Patrick Partners along with Bob Iacchino. So, Bitcoin rallying back up just shy with 63.14 as the next major level, topping out 62.99. And remember, when we do have those something close to round number, we focus on the round number, which is 6,300. And that sort of key resistance is people love to place orders against the round number, pulling back. So we had prior resistance in this area, right around the 6,150. And you see with the rising rotation zone and the concept of prior resistance becoming support, finding support there, rotating back up for now. So again, 6,300, if we get through 6,300, what I'm gonna do right now, since we didn't have a major cluster, is I'm gonna check out what we have if I bump these levels up, which gives us about 6,450, and then we'll be watching 6,544 to 6,600. So it's essentially 6550 to 6600 is the next major resistance area. Next minor is 6451 once we get through 6300. If we drop below 6150, minor support coming in about 6100, just above the bottom of our four hour rotation zone. Major support coming in at the 12.5% gain retracement level, 5914 with the rising 50 and this prior support ledge. So that's your major support that you don't wanna see a four hour close below. Let's check out that daily chart. And again, that's where the top of the rotation zone is on the daily. So the very key level you don't want to see a close blow on the four hour and especially on the daily is the 5914. We're just going to call it the 5900 level for now. Still in very overbought conditions, but not overextended on a daily basis yet. Now we have made a higher high right here. And, uh, doesn't look so far that this day is not over. We might start getting a divergent set up. That just means waning momentum on this up move. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to have the pullback right away because you can set up multiple of these divergences, but we do have waning momentum on the daily basis. Checking in on Ethereum. Ethereum spiking through a 185 level, dropping back down, drifting a little sideways. Then we we're watching for 189.20. Uh, spiking through there to 191.83, but then closing back down below that, then selling back into the rotation zone. Also, if you're looking, just as it went through the minor level, if you did, it's just showing you if you did update it to this one, that gave you the next uh, 192 level and it's sp spiking to 191.83. At this point, we're just raising it all the way to the top. So... This is a, actually a pretty steeper pullback. Let's see if it can get grabbed above about 183.60. That's what we'll be watching for a confirmation of the rotation up there. Then we'll be watching for a return to 191.83 and through that 197 then 202.50. Now key major support coming in about 175. So uh, that's where your key major, that was this little shelf right here. So 25% gain level. That's where we'll be watching for major support based off the four hour. And if we did drop below that, we'd be watching for the next major level, about 167. Let's switch over to daily chart, see how those line up. So very key, 25%, that's where the daily rotation zone is. And look at all these candle bodies. And we focus on the bodies more than the wicks because they're the key closes and opens. So, uh, Here's what we're looking at that lines up that 175.34 and the ro rotation zone coming right up there. So that's really your key level you're going to be watching for that you don't want to see a close below because that would then we'd be watching for the biggest pullback and that would also drop Ethereum back in this major congestion channel. So we have for you on Bitcoin and Ethereum and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.